Okay, so here we're going to take a look at the um, the nodes again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rectangle and change it to a path and go into edit path mode. And earlier I had said that if you place your mouse near an edge that it turns into a hand that could then be, you know, can push up or down on, a, on an edge like that. The other thing you can do is if you double click while you're there, you actually can create another node, right? So I actually can create a whole another node anywhere I want along a path. And if I want to get rid of a node, I can just highlight it and hit the delete key. So if I wanted to even get rid of an existing node, I can just highlight it and get rid of it using the delete key. So I think you could quickly see here that, that you could really start to create all the different kind of shapes you want out of just your primary shapes. Um, the, the one other thing that I did want to show you is if you look at the way these nodes are, um, if you were to con hold your control key down when you click on a node, you see that it actually changes into between a square, a diamond, and a circle. And what uh, the, the difference is, is that when you're in square mode, the handles, as you move them, if you move the right one, the left one moves. Okay? If you're in diamond mode, you can move one of the handles, and the other one just remains the same. And then if you're in circle mode, circle mode basically tries to make it as, a, as rounded, perfectly rounded as possible. Okay, and it, just like the square when it moves together. Okay, so circular, square, and then of course, diamond mode.